So quite recently I came into a bad flash on my R9 270 trying to flash it to an R9 270X and it just simply would not work after I flashed it. Though there was one technique that I used to bring this thing back to life and I'm going to share that with you guys today. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a video on how you can possibly bring some dead graphics cards back to life. Now this applies to a few different graphics cards that just simply don't work at the said voltage and clock speeds. And in my case, I did have an R9 270, which I tried to flash to an R9 270X. And as it just happened, it was just not binned high enough and that it wouldn't work at the said clock speeds at the said voltage. So there was a little method and a trick that I could use to bring it back down. And that was to have a motherboard that supported the base clock on an Intel platform. And what this enables you to do is essentially downclock everything, including the graphics card. So what I managed to do was I managed to downclock it to 75 hertz or megahertz, and that essentially dropped the graphics card speed down 25% as well. And when I did that, I was able to flash it back to the R9 270, which then enabled my graphics card to work again. So the lesson I learned here was that not all R9 270s are R9 270Xs, and they can't all be flashed to be better or free performance, as they are essentially, some of them I guess, are essentially binned. Though this trick doesn't just go as far as to work on a bad flash, you'll notice that from time to time people will start selling graphics cards that no longer work. And if you get one of these graphics cards in, you can see if it just runs at a lower base clock. And if so, it's probably just a higher bend or aggressively bend card that just doesn't work at that set voltage anymore. So you'll be able to flash a new BIOS on and you perhaps have yourself a very cheap graphics card. The one thing you keep in mind if your computer does crash while you are flashing your graphics card, then that card is pretty much dead, unless it's got a dual BIOS on there. However, don't imagine this really happening to anyone as the V BIOS in my case took like a second or two to flash. It was almost instantaneous and I don't imagine anyone trying to flash expensive graphics cards on a potato. That's about it for me today, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button and stay subscribed and I'll catch you guys in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.